What's going on, everybody? This is the $2 podcast. I don't know how we made it up, but I just saw $2 on top of our TV stand that I left behind a couple weeks ago, and it came up to my mind. So this is our first podcast. Hey, yeah, welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to discuss about D.B. Cooper, Dan Cooper, who hijacked... His name is Dan Cooper? Yes, Dan Cooper. I didn't even know that. I thought his name was just D.B. Cooper. No, no, that's the nickname they gave him. <laughs> What's the name? Yeah, D.B. Cooper. Wait, so they don't know his real name? No. No fucking way. Exactly, they don't know who it is. Wait, wait. How did they know who what his name was if they never found him? I think D.B. was just like... Like the code name. Obviously, that's the code name. Because mm. they don't know the real fucking name. Mm. I mean, we could do it next time, next 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 episode when we talk Probably about Bin Laden I mean, this, in Pakistan. Bin Laden, we, you know we got to you know who we got to get here. We got to get Rafa down here. He knows all about that. Like, yeah, we, for some of his house. We got Bin Laden in Pakistan. We got the Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Russian. All right, so BB Cooper, craziest fucking man alive, bro. Craziest fucking man. Hijacked a plane. Took a hundred thousand dollars with him. Two fifty k. Two hundred fifty thousand. Yes. You know today's value that should be like two point five million. Exactly. That's a couple million dollars. Broski got on a plane and sat down like a normal passenger, looked looked at one of the crew members and was like, "I got dynamite." He got dynamite. Yeah. Oh, showed him on the brief. You don't even know that that briefcase he had was a real fucking bomb. Exactly. And then the flight attendant saw the note later on, gave it to the the the. The cockpit. The pilot, yeah. Pilot. Pilot. And then they, they landed the plane, got the money. And did. And That's did. crazy. No, no. What really happened was he told them that he had a bomb, and then they had to let, like, the um, the air traffic people know. Mm. The air traffic people, you know, got the government involved in everything. Mm. And then he, D.B. Cooper was like to the cockpit, like, this is where I want the money. So they had to do, like, a whole fucking emergency landing. Exactly. Landed the plane. And they try. They everybody was still in the cockpit when they landed the plane. Yeah, and one of the crew, the crew ladies or crew members, were the flight attendants. Sorry, the flight attendants. Mm-hmm. One, one of them came down, grabbed the money, gave to DB Cooper. Exactly. All right. Mm-hmm. Le- and then after he got the money, plane goes off. They're in the air. I don't know how many feet. That's that's not the biggest. Going to Mexico. Concern. Going to Mexico. Yeah. From Mexico. He literally. I don't think the plane landed in Mexico. It probably just went over the Mexican like uh, yeah. air. Mm-hmm. Uh, why, did, why didn't they contact air traffic controls? They couldn't because D.B. Cooper was in control. He was in control. He was in, because he had a bomb and if they didn't follow any of his orders, he would have blown up. But we don't know. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows if it was a bluff or not. I mean, so 1971 we're talking about. Na- I mean, for 1971, it's it's crazy. I mean, back then, TSA, all that bullshit wasn't like fucking crazy. That is the point. That is a good point. Um, then he jumped I, off. He jumped he off. Literally jumped, off he literally gave them exact coordinates in Mexico. Told him to open the thing. You know, you know thing the the thing's asshole arm. You saw that shit. Fucking, I don't know the on the bottom. Like it opens up. I don't know. I don't know some dumbass entry, but he told him to open it up. Broski had a whole parachute. Yeah. The fuck was that? You heard that noise? Yeah. The big thing. Who the fuck fell in the bathroom? Alright, they got the coordinates, and he just jumped. Yeah, he into the fucking the woods. Exactly, and they didn't find the trade. They, they found never. some dollars. They found a couple of dollars. And that's it. Yeah. And then after he that, was never to be seen never again. Never to be seen. You never know. He probably still. I feel like he probably transferred all that money to like some Russian bank or some shit. Just you know. Money laundering. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. What do you think he is now? What well, I think he is now. You said he jumped near Mexico. He's probably like somewhere in fucking Mexico because obviously the Mexican government they don't give a fuck about this shit. That is true. They probably even they probably don't know who DB Cooper is. Yeah, it's a whole American fucking shit. Cause we know how ass America is about everything. We mm-hmm. dog shit ass country. And the news never talks about it. We don't. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I think we gotta we're gonna conclude the podcast. Today is a nice podcast about DB Cooper. Dan nice Cooper. DB DB Cooper. This this is this is the part one. We're gonna get out of part two tomorrow. Um, right now I'm running out of time. Yeah. Gotta take a shower. Gotta yeah. work at eight. But we'll see y'all next time. Thank you for tuning in to the two dollar podcast. Make sure you like and subscribe our video. Like Follow and subscribe, us. Subscribe, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right.